these are all the modifications that I had on my bike or add-ins as you will so let's start from the front so we have here a Dunloop 19 inch tires everything that I'm going to mention I'll try to put in down in the description below as much as I can tires supermoto styles really helps me with the wheelies I have it on the front and in the back now going towards the front here we have the Luna floating rotors on the front and back these are 203 and they're accompanied here by the Magura MT5 brakes. I have here the MT5s, the regular one, and for my back brake, I use this curved one. I believe it's LC. Going towards the front, we have here just a regular stock Fender that comes with the Suron. Um, I wrapped it in a vinyl of stainless steel black. I really think it gives the black on these bikes a nice accent and it just pops out very beautifully. We have here the front bash guard with the number 33, really clean. This is a uh, like a rainbow reflective so if you flash a photo at night you'll be able to see it so next thing we have here is the grit shift headlight now these are called the blinders for a reason and i've had this mod this might be one of the oldest mods on my bike like these might be the first three mods that i had on my bike and i still have it to this day so it's very useful it's very good and it's lasting a very long time we have here uh just a basic side rear view mirror that i put on the bar end of my bike living in the city you really do need these to always know who's behind you because you just never know for the warp nine horn button so it attaches to your brakes so there's a lot more space for the handlebars much cleaner it's much better and right below it is a regen brake throttle for my back 4000 from gle more about that later and of course we have here the light switch which is able to obviously turn on and off your light not a lot going on and of course very standard i wouldn't really consider this a mod very standard uh, phone holder. And going towards the middle here, we have a grid shift, direct stem mount with, I believe it has two to three inches. I believe it's three inches of rise. I do like my handlebars to be up higher. I love to bring up the bike, so this helps a lot. And right underneath here, we have here a prickly, I believe it's 28 millimeter of M extender. Like I mentioned, all I will link down below. Up in it, we have the bolts, really sturdy. Had these for almost about more than a year, so definitely still holding down. and of course every willy boy's dream what we have here is the aftermarket throttle this is the domino throttle uh the smoothness of this throttle is really unmatched it is about in my opinion 20 percent better than the actual stock throttle because the stock throttle is uh, electric at least the newer models the really really old sarons i believe they still use the cable wire really smooth never had an issue with it now of course the main one which is what you can see from far away the one of the mods that i did recently around the year ago around my birthday was i got my bike powder coated illusion cherry it is literally the one of the most beautiful things i've ever seen in my life going towards the top here we have here uh, ignition key which i got from technique emx shout out to them and of course the big boy we have here the 72 max shy battery with the custom engraving with my styles logo use the code styles at shy battery checkout to be able to get a small discount on your battery going towards the big brains we have here the back 4000 from greenline engineering with this beautiful beautiful huge heat sink it originally comes either black or silver raw but i decided to change the color to go with the aesthetics of my bike and it's just absolutely beautiful discount code for green line engineering and it does help out the channel if you just use the codes down below what we have here is a technique emx bash guard powder coated it illusion cherry and of course the gold to match the controller Mwah. it's very beautiful now going towards the middle we have here of course the main show one of the main show is here is the green line engineering god mode tuned social motor now i've been having this motor for about about less than a week now and i'm still testing it out i have a first impression video is coming very soon or if not it is my last video so definitely check that out if you want to and then i am going to be making a full in-depth review about it shortly after i have more time with it so far no complaints i love this color it's a gunmetal gray and a golden cap looks beautiful what we have here is just regular upgraded pegs these actually seen better days but they're holding out very long time so i'm gonna change them out very soon but hey if it ain't broken don't fix it now going towards here we have here the peg brackets uh, i got these because what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a foot shifter holder on the other side just so it could be able to you know 
hold my bike while doing wheelies. I got these because they have multiple holes and I'm going to push them back and it's going to come out very nice. Now, I don't know if you can see here, we just have here a stock jack shaft with upgraded bearings. I will link those down below because I do believe people are having, I do believe it's a very important component, especially if you're running a lot of power on this bike. Going towards the middle, we have here still going strong the same stock rear shock i love the color gold so it's kind of matching what we have around here so what we have here is a technique emx triangle and linkage riser so some people say dog bone but it's here it's powder coated to match the bike and i was lucky enough by a shop here in queens called everything coated shout out to jay definitely if you want to find any parts to powder coat uh, he is experienced with surons and have done plenty of surons so and suron parts so definitely check them out if you are thinking about powder coating your bike Saran, your parts, anything, and then you're in the New York City area. Definitely good quality service. And he did me the favor to even engrave the Styles 33. And of course, on the other side, the name of my bike, O Reliable, and the year that I got him. Just these little things just make it one of one, which really makes it amazing. Towards the back here, we have here a 52 tooth sprocket. Um, I might go for a 54, but so far, no complaints here with the 52. Uh, the torque is pretty much good, and I have the big battery and the big motor to actually compensate for that power. Regular chain, uh, nothing really crazy about this chain, it just fits the bike. Going towards the other side here, of course, we have these, I believe they're from JPC Racing, just some nice disc covers, you know, it gives it a nice little accent against the illusion cherry that you see here it's really nice towards the back here we have here a supernova light what i love about this light is if you know about this uh technology called from the brake light which is a helmet light which uh, basically it it feels the acceleration and whenever you start decelerating it creates a like a red light in the back like it just it lights red and it starts flashing i think this is very useful especially those that are consistently buying different brakes or that have brakes that are really good but don't want to opt into like the electrical option and of course i have here an undergo clip that i made a video about but just essentially some stripped led lights all around the bike to give it that nice beautiful glow especially for those night rides that you have in the city have here one of the main things that i should have actually painted red is the extender kit the seat extender kit from dirty bike i like this little x design is very clean a lot of them are you know have a lot of lines in them i don't really like them but i do like this the only complaint that i have is this part right here um it actually came with a 3d printed part and if you have a big battery wheeling a lot it will break and essentially i just left it as such but so far so good what we have here is regular stock seat it's really low profile really helps with the willies and thinking about getting a seat cover very soon to enhance the grip what we have here i got these from amazon i forgot the name of the brand i linked it down below but it's these three inch riser handlebars handlebars you can see are very flat very low obviously it was made for much smaller riders a little bit taller so these are definitely essentials especially adding with the grid shift extender and the stem kit these bring up the bike very beautiful i might be wrong on this but i feel like the suron is literally the most customizable bike you can have and just here's an example of what you can actually do with it and i hope this is somewhat inspiring it makes you want to go out and be creative and hey guys this is pretty much it i don't want to make this too much about it i do want to just show you what i've done to this bike previously from my last video about how much is grown and how much you can just customize these bikes. I hope this is somewhat inspiring. It makes you wanna go out and be creative. And you know, it's, a, it's basically a way to express yourself and I'm very grateful to be able to do so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wish you all the best and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.